Welcome to this video training course 7697 Configuring Windows Devices. This course is intended to provide you with the skills and knowledge necessary to prepare for and take the Microsoft 7697 Configuring Windows Devices exam. The course consists of a series of lessons that guide you through the important exam objectives. Each lesson is a combination of discussion sessions and hands-on demonstrations. I'm Andrew Warren and I'll be your instructor throughout those sessions and demonstrations. I'm a long-time Microsoft Certified Trainer and I've taught thousands of students in hundreds of classes over the years. For the last decade I've been working with Microsoft on their official curriculum courseware and I've just completed some updates to the Windows 10 curriculum. Prior to that, I designed and wrote 20741 Networking with Windows Server 2016. I also helped on the companion courses in the Windows Server portfolio, including 20743 Upgrading Your Skills to MCSA Windows Server 2016. I've written several exam ref books for Microsoft Press, including Installing and Configuring Windows 10, Configuring Windows Devices, Networking with Windows Server 2016, and Identity with Windows Server 2016. This course consists of 11 lessons, each broken down into sub-lessons of around 10 minutes duration. In lesson one, you'll learn about supporting Microsoft Store and Cloud apps. The lesson covers managing apps with Microsoft Office 365, managing Microsoft Store apps, and managing apps with Microsoft Intune. In lesson two, we cover authentication options, how to manage work groups and domains, and implementing accounts. Lesson three describes how to configure and migrate user data, how to manage power settings, configure mobility options, and configuring security options for mobile devices. Lesson four deals with networking, including configuring both IP4 and IP6, configuring name resolution, and connecting to a network. This lesson also covers managing Wi-Fi and Windows Firewall. Lesson five introduces Microsoft 365 and describes support options for mobile devices, how to deploy device updates with Intune, how to manage devices with Microsoft 365, shows you how to implement work folders, and how to implement and configure information protection on mobile devices. Lesson six deals with data storage, while in lesson seven, we explore managing shared resources, file and folder permissions, OneDrive storage options, and implementing home groups. In lesson eight, you'll learn about implementing remote connections with remote desktop, broadband tethering, and VPNs. Lesson nine explores additional application options covering remote app apps, desktop apps, and both UEV and AppV. Lesson 10 is focused on Hyper-V, and lesson 11, the last lesson of the course, covers performing file recovery, configuring and performing system recovery, and how to manage updates. By the end of the course, you should have learned enough to support your organization's Windows 10 device deployment, and to take the 7697 Configuring Windows Devices exam. I do hope you get as much out of attending the course as I did writing and recording it.